So my name is Richard Kingston. I'm a senior lecturer in urban planning and something what is called smart cities. And I've been working on this idea probably since I got my first job, really. You know, this was set up in August last year officially, uh, and we're just now signing contracts with Taylor Wimpy. I'm a town planner by profession, so I've had a slightly different academic sort of trajectory in that after graduating, I went and worked for a county council as a planner, and I specialised in a particular area which came through my undergraduate career into my master's and PhD, an undergraduate career where I focused on, on geographical information systems. These are computerised mapping tools that were in existence before Google Maps. And we kind of, I sort of always kind of say jokingly, we kind of invented Google Maps before Google Maps. The research actually is the starting point really, is, was about how can you involve more stakeholders, more people from the general public through to local government, statutory consultees, central government, private sector, in the planning system. I saw an a job advertised for an ESRC postdoc at the University of Leeds at the time for someone who could do GIS but knew about public participation in planning and also could, could use GIS as well. So I applied for this and, and this was 1996-97 when we first put GIS on the internet. So we developed some software that hadn't really been done before. And in 2004-05, I remember having a meeting with someone in UMIP, and I said, look, I've got this great idea. We've got this software, it'll engage lots of people. We think people want to buy our service. And that's where things sort of came to a halt. So I was essentially selling, saying that I was selling a service. The software that sits behind all this, we give away for free. We were saying, or were wanting to say, it's the service that you are paying for. So geographical information systems, the market leader is a company called ESRI, have 90% of the global market, but it costs tens of thousands of pounds for this software, and research has shown that most people only use 10% of its functionality. So what we're doing is just offering that 10% of functionality that the client requires. A lot of the research that I was doing was working with real clients, so a lot of the research is, is very applied. UMIT put a call out for the Energy Innovation Fund, I think it was, what was that, 2010? A million pounds up for grabs, they were going to fund 10 projects, so you could get £100,000 each, where you had to come up with some innovative idea of how you could help the, ut the electricity utility sector uh, solve particular problems. So working with a Scottish and Southern Energy, we developed a part of the toolkit which we always promised them that no matter what the problem was, so long as it had some geographical element, we could build some technology to fit their particular need. So it's a bespoke piece of software that gets re rebuilt every time for the specific client. Our unique selling point for this that is what's interested a lot of our clients is the fact that we deliver a very specific solution to meet their requirements. We're open to whatever the company wants to do. I mean, the client is actually Cranfield University on a project at the moment that is a NERC funded project, but we're running it through this because for me, a lot of the work we started to do, another part of this as well was, it was stopping being research and it was just turning the handle. It was another GIS online mapping tool with just a different set of data to the previous version, but from my point of view, that wasn't anything about new research. It was just another application of what we'd done five or six years ago, and to me that that sits in the company because I'm not learning, I'm not going to publish a paper from that. So we can go into companies and say we, we can offer you this, this and this that others are not fully aware of yet. So that's another area where we've got the competitive advantage of being coming out of the university, that we're offering them techniques and, and approaches to analysing things that aren't done by others. I feel if it goes wrong, I've got something there supporting me. Even though it doesn't always feel like it's there on a real day-to-day -day basis, it, there's, there's a bit, it's like a comfort blanket, knowing that it's the university and, and that's bigger than just me.